Hi, this is Mike with 50 MTB and we're going to uh, test drive this uh, new YT Jeffries. This is the carbon version. I'll, I'll write in which one it is specifically in a, when I get to the editing, but uh, we got the 27.5. I was looking for 29. They were all out, but I got this in extra large. I'm uh, six foot two and uh, we're going to give it a quick uh, runabout. We'll uh, climb up the mountain. I'll give you a report when I get to the top and then we'll show you some footage on the down. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we're, uh, we just went up prime cut. Now we're gonna go up chutes and ladders for some more climbing so far. This uh, Jeffy's did a really good job on the climbing, better than I thought it would. There was no front wheel wandering that I experienced. It did pretty good. So let's go ahead and see how it climbs up uh, chutes and ladders. So it looks pretty steep. I'm gonna go ahead and just go down to the bottom. Can't tell if, I think we have Eagle on here. We'll find out here in a minute. Well, that was fun. I gotta take a break. So even though the uh, seat angle is pretty steep, I'm still having to move to the front, uh, the nose of the seat on this climb. So uh, I just looked, the seat is in the mid rails. Uh, let's see how we can do this last section. Holy crap, that was steep. Woo! <laughs> right, let's get to the top of the next hill. I think this is gonna be a stop and go. So it's able to climb some steep. But you really gotta get to the front of the nose, go low gear. Lean forward and dig hard. All right, just rode the uh, YT Jeffies up a series of pretty steep hills. And this thing can't climb. I was doing it seated. My butt was on the front of the nose of the saddle. Saddle's about midway. I'm on an extra large. Uh, but it did grip and it did go up. And again, it was a pretty challenging climb. I saw a lot of people not make it. Uh, anyway. This was a lot of fun. Uh, there was no wandering on the front wheel on the uh, climb, on the, the easy climb nor the steep climb. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, this is the 27.5 uh, carbon. I don't remember which version, um, but it, uh, it did better than expected. And the low gears I was able to get up, but I did have to put in a lot of effort. So I'm doing stop and go on this uh, chutes and ladders. So let's go see, uh, hopefully we got some downhill and uh, we'll show you that. Ah, here we go.
you like climbing, this is a trail for you. I sure hope we're at the top. All right, bottom line, they climbed really well. It, uh, it did better than I could do. I, I was having a hard time keeping up with the steep. So uh, the bike did well though. Let's give it some down and see what happens. the festival here at the uh, Through the Fat Tire Festival and the YT guy told me people were lined up an hour before they even got here <laughs> in the morning before the festival started. Oh, this seat is tough. This uh, dropper seat keeps dropping uh, unassisted <laughs> without a lever. I guess that's better than getting stuck up. This would be fun if I had more energy. Yeah, this seat sucks. It keeps falling on me. That can be pretty frustrating. Well, so far I've only seen two people on this trail. One guy made it up the top of the first hill and bailed out. Second guy was doing a lot of walking. Tough trail. Uh, I think we're out of it. I'm gonna catch my breath and then we'll have some fun on this down. All right, let's try it. Psych. No more hill. All right, I don't see any more hills. Okay, this is my post-ride review on the YT Jeffries, uh, their new bike, a new carbon for 2019. 
Uh, this is the 27.5. Uh, did a pretty good job. We just took up some, uh, a lot of climb, punchy climbs, and uh, it did good. It gripped. Uh, I didn't feel a lot of wandering on the front uh, wheel. There was a little bit, just because I'm used to a steeper head angle, but uh, for other bikes that I've ridden, it did a pretty good job. And um, I felt the, the back end was uh, very supportive, uh, very grippy. I didn't have any issues with slipping out. And there's some pretty sandy stuff around, or dusty stuff around here. Uh, all in all, I liked the bike. The only thing I didn't like was the dropper seat post. I don't know if I just got a bad one or what, but it kept falling uh, down. And then, uh, you know, you try to sit on it and fall down. And that uh, ate up a little bit of energy. Uh, other than that, I was pretty happy with it. And um, I recommend you go ahead and take a test drive on it if you're in the market for this type of bike. Uh, pretty cool. All right, thanks. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, uh, be sure to subscribe to see other uh, reviews and uh, rides, ride-alongs. Thanks.